Hey, what's up, guys? Today is January 14th, 2014, and today I'm making a video on how to grow uh, sprout super hot peppers. This is the first time I've tried doing it, and I've tried three ways to sprout them, and they all worked uh, really well, and so sort of surprising to me that how well they work, so I'm going to share it, uh, my method with everyone. So the first method I used is the just, you know, soil plastic cup method. And there is the yellow maruga. Just sprout it. So it's still small. And I started this on uh, the 3rd, January 3rd. And the second method I tried is using rock wool. And so there's the, the, the pepper right there. And this is the red habanero. Um, so there, there's two of them already. And the others are probably coming out soon, but should be, should be expecting those in a few days. So there. And uh, the third method I used is the paper towel method. I did this for the red habanero on the 8th and uh, let me show you what it looks like so there it is right there see the roots for that one as well um, they are starting to come out some are still in the process but most of them uh, sprouted little little roots so that's the red habanero and if you watch my other video on how I collect these seeds. I bought um, 15 of these red habanero from a grocery store and grabbed a bunch of seeds out of it. I mean, I, I got probably a few hundred out of those and cost me about less than four dollars. And this is the yellow maruga. Started on the fourth. In the paper towel method. And there it is right there so you see that you probably could barely see the roots but it's it's right there so I started to one it looks like it will grow soon but this one's already there and so are the three method and all three looks promising and so today I'm gonna show you how to do all three methods um, so we can start with the paper towel method what you will need for this is just some paper towel. Um, you don't need a whole sheet. You can just use half of it. So you just take the half of the paper towel, fold it in half. Then you're going to fold that just like that. So then you take a spray bottle. Um, if you use warm water, uh, it's probably better, but I didn't. So you're just going to spray it just like that on one side and then flip it over spray that as well not too much then in the middle just like that that's all you need so if you think you spray too much just trying to squeeze it there's no water out then you're good to go. So then just open that up and you're gonna just drop your seeds just like that. As many as you like. And then close it up. Then you're gonna place that inside a Ziploc bag. Uh, just like that. It's really hard to do with one hand, but basically that's that's what you would do. And then you would take the plastic bag and put it somewhere nice and warm. So if the temperature is about 75 degrees or higher, uh, then that should be fine. And probably uh, mine sprouted. Um, so this is the, the the eighth. So it sprouted about a day or two ago. So it only takes less than a week to sprout. So that's 
that's how you do that method. And the second method, which also works well for me, is the rock wool method. So you're going to soak this rock wool in warm water. Then just use something to poke a nice hole in there. And just grab a seed right here and just drop it in like that. So there it is. And close it up like that. And then you're going to place that inside a Ziploc bag just like this. That's how I did mine. And then same thing, you would keep this in a warm place, uh, probably under the light and where it's warm. And you see those uh, condensation there? That's because uh, I placed this under this lamp and it, the, the lamp gave it enough heat. Uh, and that's that's what it looked like. And then again, within less than a week, um, if the 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 rare the peppers like the Maruga or the Trinidad scorpions or something like that, those would usually take a little bit longer, two weeks probably, or maybe less. But this one works out well for me. And so that's the second method. And. The third method is the soil method. And the soil that I use is the organic uh, potting mix. So you can get this at, at Home Depot. So you're going to use uh, this, just a plastic cup. I, I use two plastic cups. Um, one, I just put a hole there. That way when you fill the water up, and if you fill too much water, it just drips to the bottom, just like I did there. And that should be fine. Just pour those water out. Make sure the, the, the soil is nice and moist, but not too wet, because if you have it too wet and soaking wet, the seeds will rot. So then, just use a tool and just just create a nice small hole like less than an inch deep like like that then you will um, you can just drop your seeds directly in there or you can soak your seeds first for like eight hours or less uh, I didn't and it still worked so I'll take the seed like that just drop it in there and give it a spray that and then close it up just like so um, you probably want to use more than one seed just to increase your chances and once that's done you would take a um, you place you can usually what I did I did for this method is I put the ziplock bag over it so to so it looks like that right there and then place it under the light somewhere nice and warm and the Ziploc bag act like a greenhouse which gives get really really good heat and warmth so that it, uh, it it'll start to sprout and this Maruga scorpion the yellow Maruga is uh, planted on the third and this sprouted I think two days ago so it, it's a little bit more than a week, but um, it, if you uh, keep it nice and warm, it, it'll sprout. So, like I said, and again, just put multiple seeds, so that way you get more chances of success. Anyway, um, I hope um, the, this, this video would help you. Um, I did it and it worked, so uh, I hope that it works for you as well. So the three method again is the soil in a plastic cup, rock wool in a Ziploc bag, and the third one is paper towel also inside a Ziploc bag. And so there you have it. Um, hope this helps. Alright, take care.